It's time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour, brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A presentation of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longines. Good evening, this is Frank Knight. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope? Larry Lasseur from the CBS Television News staff and John Oates from the editorial board of the New York Times. Our distinguished guest for this evening is the Honorable Harold E. Stassen, Director of the Foreign Operations Administration. How many persons in the executive branch of government have a bigger or more controversial job than a director of foreign aid? But even this year, an economy-minded Congress cut only 3% from the vast appropriation he asked for, three and a half billion dollars in foreign aid. Mr. Stassen, how long do you think the taxpayers of America will have to bear this burden of money aid to our allies overseas? I think it'll continue to reduce, but in some degree it is be necessary as long as there is a grave Soviet threat in the world. Well now, uh, Mr. Stassen, several senators have been saying that uh, the present bill can be cut by 50 percent or so because of previous unallocated appropriations. I'm sure there's an answer to that. Would you tell us what it is? Uh, yes, the previous unexpended appropriations are committed to the building up of jet air forces in various countries, and it takes a long time to build them. If we decide today in this Congress to help establish jet squadrons in Spain, it'll probably be four years before that money is spent. And that's why there's always a big carryover of unexpended and, in many instances, unobligated money. So I'm suggesting that $2 billion or so 